What's up, fish tank people? FishtankTV.com. Dustin's fish tanks in a little bit, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby, live on a Sunday. How the heck's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. It's a freaking gorgeous day here in July, and I'm excited today because I'm going to show you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different types of sword tails and platies that I have been hoarding inside the greenhouse. I am super duper jacked about that for the seven species of sword tails. Uh, Zyfafa for us is the scientific name of these fish. So I'm super pumped about that. I am also going to be giving you guys a quick look around the greenhouse. I've got uh, some fun things going on in the greenhouse. I'm going to show you, we're going to talk about uh, the lighting that comes into the greenhouse, some of the new setup that I have going on in there. And uh, yeah, I've got a whole setup. I've cleaned up a couple of tanks to put up front and center on the new rack that my man Josh put together. You can probably see the kids stalking me in the background. I see you back there. Uh, so yeah, I'm super pumped to be bringing to you all live. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. Uh, I am also going to talk today about the uh, different varieties of these uh, sword tails, platies, what have you, how I'm feeding them, how I'm breeding them. I took a good deal of time when I picked them up at the Live Bears convention. You can see the, the links around here somewhere uh, to the many different types of fish that were there. Learned a ton, but now I'm going to give you my first-hand knowledge on it. So let me pick the camera up, pick the food that we're going to feed them up, and we'll get you rolling here. Okay, so first things first, we're going to roll out of here out of harm's way into the greenhouse if i can get the mic off of this here we go and we will get this party started so i'm rolling out here and we'll go out to the greenhouse i do want to talk about the greenhouse because people have been enjoying the full sun uh video i did a while back notice the koi pond thanks for all the love on that video uh and somebody helped me identify a misidentified plant that i thought was a krenum which is not so if you're enjoying this uh give me a share give me a like it's the way i get supported in my wonderful youtube universe all right so i do want to talk about this real quick because i am in full sun here and i think this is important uh this greenhouse right here has what is a 60 percent shade cloth on it right now now tom Barr, the, the mighty planet tank guru said to get an 80 i went 60 and i'm happy with this so i've actually got the shade cloth uh somewhat pulled off a little bit just so you guys can kind of uh see how the light comes in through here but i am utilizing full sun and i'm loving it so here it is here's the setup with that josh and i put together recently we're actually going to imitate this i've got some of the babies in here and i'll roll over here and show you this okay so with this setup right here we're going to talk about some of this here josh has the day off yes josh has the day off every now and then okay so here's what we're doing with this bad boy um pull this off microphone checked up here okay so cool so here's what's up we have uh seven different types of sword tails platies whatever the xi it, it surrounds with an x so it's it's that i asked them in the group xi phosphor xi -fa -fa -rus is the correct scientific name on a lot of these here so i am going to show this now look I've had some people say to me that like, like, oh, those are beginner fish, whatever. Like, these fish are fantastic because they breed so easily. And because they breed so easily, you can get all kinds of different variations of them, which I am actually sitting and staring at seven different varieties of them. Now, what I have set up here is I have a 20 long, and then I have a 10 over to this side. And then I'm going to show these. Now, these are actually in the water of system number one, which is the system uh, over here. And then you'll notice I have the upper racks up here. I have the uh, I have the upper racks up there. Now what I'm going to do is slowly uh, spread them out. I've got individual species kind of like in their own so they can breed in their own thing, but then I can do everything on a universal water system, which is a lot of fun for me. Uh, let's get into it here and show you guys these species. Then I'm gonna talk about how I feed them and how I breed them. I'll pull y'all in close as I can right here. Okay, so let's uh, switch, switch the camera, why not? All right, so first things first, we've got the wonderful liar tail. All right, now this is a liar tail, and it is my understanding, and I've never actually bred it, that this fish cannot breed because it's too 
it's it's uh, it's junk is too big if you will so it can't breathe without that being cut and I know people are I, I know some old-school people that have done it any old-school library people are in here and want to talk about how that's done please let me know because that's a really really wicked fish uh, liar tail and again the varieties are just bread and bread and bread so that is a pretty baller fish as some of you all like to say I want to go from there I want to go to the Showa of Shaolin right here that is a Showa live bear that I picked up out in St. Louis it's got the the black the Showa and the Showa Koi have like the black underbody on them so that's kind of like the premise of that fish because it's got the black underneath I actually did lose one of those in transit but I've got the other one so I'm gonna set that out I've also got there's two I've got a, what's this part of a Kohaku sword coincidentally the the naming's with the sword that's a Kohaku sword back there the the red uh, the red cap on there and then I've got this wonderful little uh in the back you can barely see it I've got that uh pumpkin so those are the ones that actually live in this system over here and actually down here you can see the full sun that's how they live there's some more of them down there so they chill out down in there and then there's one of the big white females oh no i hope the male is still in there so i've got them all in here now where is the big white male that i had in here ah he's hiding oh. all right and there is another one that is the big bread to have the white body with the orange on it i'm totally loving that fish back there and his big females over there in a a, a 20 all by themselves they've already had some babies i've got babies all over the place and i ooh, he's 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 acting a little frisky i don't like him being in there so i'm gonna move from there so there's a couple varieties here and then i want to show these now these are all over here on this side that are all like in this system right here and i've pulled them out selectively to show you guys this okay so i'm gonna start with the giant black one here this giant black it's called a Hamburg Black. Now, I want you all to look closely at that. You can see this fish has a little bit of a sheen on it. It's got a tiny little bit of a, like a glistening sheen. And then notice how it's got the orange underfins. Now, I have uh, four of these, two males, two females. And they have actually produced black offspring. You can see that other little black baby back there that's doing really well back there. And I've got a ton of those. But what's interesting is they've also produced these right here not that but these ones right here they produce that one so those are coming off of there so my my hypothesis is that and I'm, I'm no genetics expert on it that these guys right here and um these guys right here actually have like the black and the orange in them so i'm getting babies that are coming out like that which is part of the fun of breeding them okay i'm gonna go from there i want to show these guys right here the phosphorus hellerize something uh, I'll link up the video where Chuck Bramer actually talks about them and I gotta blame Chuck Bramer and uh, Mike Doherty at Imperial Tropicals Mike D come and rock this shore shot for getting me into these because these were given to me by Chuck I didn't really even think about using them and now I just absolutely love them so those are rolling in there now they've got more of the blue on the tail and then last but not least it's not a platy it's not a modely it is a variatus and that is called it's a variatus platy so it's like like just a variance or whatever but it doesn't look like the sword tail it doesn't look like the molly it's got a little bit different uh body on it. you can see the hyphen on the male back there can everybody see that so that's the hyphen on the male there so that is yeah that's seven different varieties for you all so i want to show this here and then i want to talk about feeding them and breeding them i'm actually going to put this down and probably get this rolling the lighting on this is actually one of my standard doubles. But I'm trying to get this uh, set up on here so you guys can see this easier. Hang on one minute. Ah, heck with it, I'll just feed them and talk. So I'm gonna put some of this. This is stuff I've been feeding them. It's the smallmouth freshwater brands. Blend, blend from our friends at Rod's Foods. I've been feeding them a mix. Now what you wanna do is you don't wanna give them like all of one type of food. You always wanna vary their diet. Just like humans, you wanna vary their diet up. So I'm gonna put some of this stuff in here. And I'm going to power feed these guys uh, only because they're in a like isolated tank here and I can do it. So I want you guys to see it. But I feed a mix of both, uh, oh, they're going to tear that up, of both uh, the Rod's Foods. Then I feed some good flakes. And then I feed um, a little bit of, the, it's a flake, it's a spirulina flake. 
And then they eat all kinds of mosquito larvae. I have a, a mosquito larva collection, but check those guys out. Notice the hyphen on that guy. I'm really enjoying that. The blacks are more skittish back here. The black, Hamburg black is what they call them. It's a little more skittish, um, but I'll feed the liar tails for you guys too here. Little Madagascar lace said there. Here you go. So I'll get these guys fed up here. So I'm getting those guys rolling. Here comes the liar tail. So I'm loving the liar tail. And then I do, I've talked about feeding them. You rotate it with the spirulina flakes. You give them, I give them this heavy duty food uh, every now and then, but I do big water changes on it. And water changes, water changes, water changes, folks. There is no substitute. There is no alternative to big, big water changes. Like these fish absolutely love a big water change. I'll get these, these plants out of here for a second. Now throw that down in there. So actually, I'll leave it in there. So you guys, you guys can get the idea there. So I want to talk about the uh, the reproduction of these guys, though. I guess the plant's staying in there. The reproduction of these guys is pretty cool. The what you want to do when breeding these is you want to make sure you have. I'll switch the camera. Around. When you're breeding these bad boys, you want to make sure. Look, 85% of my demographic is is dudes. So if this is a lady that's offended by this, I, I'm sorry. Um, if you're hanging out. You know, you don't want to be getting busy out in public. You don't want to be getting busy in the wide open. You're hanging out on a beach. You don't hang out on the beach. You go in a forest. Hang out there. Same thing with the platies. Same thing with the swords. Same thing with a lot of fish, actually. So I roll with a ridiculous amount of hornwort. I think that hornwort is one of the fastest uh, nitrate ammonia absorbing plants on the planet, like probably the number one. So I definitely roll with a ton of that. And then what I recommend is use a ton of it and then use big water changes. That's the key. Big, heavy amounts of food, heavy amounts of plant color, heavy water changes. You can breed these fish like mad. So that is the big, uh, the big trick. And look, they breed like crazy. Uh, something that a lot of, the, I do sell the hornwort, uh, something that a lot of the people miss uh, with this though is you want to have, and this is a good gig for the uh, the males, you want to have the males to females, at least two females to males. I really like to run it uh, three females to males, but two fe two females to males are good because the males are just relentless, ruthless. I've said it before and I'll say it again, like drunk, horny frat guys. I mean, they're just like rolling around all over the place chasing the females. So you always want to get more females than males. And I want to point out the size on this female Hamburg Black right there. Like she is an absolute monster, a monster, monster. So that's what I'm doing, folks. I'm having a good time with it. Uh, anybody enjoying this, like this? Can I get a like? Can I get a share? Show you guys around a little more. And then I'll show you what I'm planning to do up top here. So what we're doing up top here is while I have these set up like this, these are actually going to go sideways like this. And this is actually a 10. We're going to have the 20 long front to back uh, go this way. One, two, three, four, five six of them all along here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to separate out the species both the species of the plants and the species of the fish and have them roll together like that so that's what's up folks everybody uh anybody got any live bear questions real quick i've talked about feeding them i've talked about breeding them um i really only like to uh talk about like species and stuff that i've kept so you know keep it to that any questions big girls rock yeah, get the big get the big females, the Hamburg Blacks. The Germans have an amazing amount of information on there. Uh, click the links around here to check out the other videos. Don't forget to hit that notification uh, button uh, around here, whatever you can get that. Hit the subscribe button as well. Uh, buying some today, tips for selection. Uh, Imperial Tropicals has some, Select Aquatics has some good ones uh, as well. It's a, I've actually been to both their places. They're both great. Um, let's see here, anything about selecting who to breed, what to look for in breeders. Um, the best thing to look for is look for big, healthy, vibrant fish. You want fish that are super vibrant, super active, like all over the place. You don't want them to be lethargic. You want an active fish. Like the liar tail I got, I'm pumped at how active this dude is. Like he's all over the place, um, just like super active, loving it. And then what I like to do is just have the different varieties and mess around with the different ones of them. So like I'm going to have the showas, I'm going to try to breed the showas. When that gets old, I'm going to try to breed something else. So, uh, oh, sexing them is super easy. The males have the pointy, uh, the pointy anal fin right there. Like that's obviously a male. That's a male. The sword, the swords have the swords on them. So, yeah, and that that would be a female right there if you can see her. That's a female. So, all right, 
folks. Cool. That's it. Appreciate it. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Check out the links at the end of this video. I've got tons of live bears, including uh, visiting Chuck Bramer's house, a guy who has a million different fish tanks. I've got Greg Sage, a guy who uh, breeds and sells a bunch of live bears, and I've got some stuff from Imperial Tropicals. Uh, everybody have a fabulous freaking week, and tank on. Later.